Welcome back to the Launchpad. I'm Zach, and this is your weekly pre-launch preview for April 19th through April 26th, 2025. Your one-stop update for all the rocket launches and major in-space operations happening this week. Whether it's a classified satellite or a mission to the International Space Station, we've got you covered. To kick this week off, we're heading up to low Earth orbit. On Saturday, April 19th, NASA astronaut Don Patet, along with Roscosmos cosmonauts Alexei Ovechkin and Ivan Vangar, will depart the International Space Station aboard the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft. Patet, Ovechkin, and Wagner will undock the orbiting laboratory's RASFET module at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, heading for a parachute-assisted landing at 9.20 p.m. Eastern, 6.20 a.m. local Kazakhstan time on Sunday, April 20th. On the steps of Kazakhstan, landing will occur on Patet's 70th birthday. Heading back down to the ground for this week's Earth departures, on Sunday, April 20th at 10.27 UTC, 6.27 a.m. Eastern, SpaceX will launch a Falcon 9 Block 5 from Space Launch Complex 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. This mission is NROL-145, a national security launch for the National Reconnaissance Office. While the payload is classified, we can expect it to enhance U.S. surveillance and intelligence capabilities in orbit. Then, on Monday, April 20th, at 8.15 UTC, 4.15 a.m. Eastern, another Falcon 9 will lift off, this time from Launch Complex 39A at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This mission is CRS SpaceX-32, a cargo resupply flight heading to the International Space Station, packed with food, science experiments, and equipment to support the astronauts on board the ISS for the months to come. SpaceX isn't slowing down with another Falcon 9 launch set for Tuesday, April 22nd at 048 UTC or 848 p.m. Eastern on the 21st. This mission, Bandwagon 3, is part of the company's rideshare program and will carry multiple small satellites for commercial and research customers. Launch is set from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. Back up on the International Space Station, CRS-32 is expected to dock to the ISS at 12.20 UTC or 8.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Then heading down to the other side of the planet, China is set to launch a Long March 8 on Tuesday, April 22nd at 15.50 UTC, 11.50 a.m. Eastern. The mission G6 Polar Group, to be determined which one, is part of the G60 constellation operated by the Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology, backed by the Shanghai local government. The G60 constellation will consist of 1,296 satellites by 2027, with plans to expand to over 12,000 satellites in the future. This launch is set from commercial LC-1 at the Wenchang launch site in China. Staying in China for a couple of days, a Long March 2FG will launch on Thursday, April 24th at 9.17 UTC, 5.17 AM Eastern, carrying the Shenzhou-20 crew to the Tiangong space station in low Earth orbit. The mission will mark the 15th crew Chinese space flight and the 9th flight to the Chinese space station, sending three Taikonauts to the Tiangong space station, where they'll spend approximately six months conducting experiments, spacewalks, and continuing station construction and maintenance. Launch is set from Site 901 SLS-1 at the Kukuan Satellite Launch Center in China. Probably said that wrong. Forgive me. Now rounding out the launch schedule for the week, SpaceX will be back on the launch pad on Friday, April 25th at 1.32 UTC, 9.27 p.m. Eastern on the 24th with Starlink 6-74 at Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, also in Florida. So whether you're tracking cargo dragons, Starlink deployments, or secret spy satellites, it's going to be a busy and eventful week in spaceflight. Thanks for watching this week's pre-launch preview. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another live launch. And let us know in the comments which mission you're most excited about. Until next time, add Astra to the stars, because space is better together.